Hey guys, Troy here. I uh, wanted to shoot a quick video. I just got done cleaning. This is our rat setup. Um, it's kind of the darker side of ball pythons, I guess, but every, everybody knows who owns them. If you have ball pythons, you keep ball pythons, or the number that we do, you are better off raising your own rats um, instead of buying. It can get rather costly. So, a long time ago, actually when this first started, they, we started off with, we built one of these homemade, it was just one. And uh, it was just one, well, let me back up. I guess we started with aquariums full of rats and just breeding and it all got crazy. And then we decided to, we need to streamline a system. So we ended up with something like this. But we started with a, one rack that was six six tubs tall now of course as you get more ball pythons you need more rats so then we went to two and then that worked out for a while and then all of a sudden we need three and truth be told we're probably going to have to expand this a little bit but i just wanted to give you a little shot at you know our rat setup and where the food comes from now you know of course i'm not going to show you all that we don't show them feeding or none of that stuff but um the snakes feeding but we do, you know, it is a necessity when you have bull pythons, and, and especially in the amount that we do. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. It's just a, uh, it's a two by two system. Uh, these, these, the boards are just two by twos, um, all put together with a spacing there, enough to hold the tubs. And this too was just like our regular racks, our snake racks, was a learning curve. Um, we started out, you know, the tubs are not you know the greatest the fit was kind of goofy this one here you can see is a little wide you gotta kinda be careful when you put it in and out but um, that's what it is so what then we what we got you see the black line there that of course goes down to a sipper well, let me go to this one sorry if I'm making you sick but everything branches off and there's a little sipper down in there uh, and that's where they get their water and then the the one side we split for that's the food side uh, keep them them full. Some people put hoppers down in there. This works out good. The rats eat. Everything's good. So it all starts with this tub at the top that we keep full of water. Um, and then it just branches off. There's a valve there. It comes down the water line. And then everywhere you see. Now sometimes you see if like this line here. Uh, this line here is clear. So we kind of ran out of hose and whatnot. So we do have more adjusting to do. But it's the same all the way down all the way across and then if you see see this empty one and the uh, the hose here is cut back with no sipper on it uh, that sipper sprung a leak and we can't get it with sometimes you know it's it's kind of a thing you gotta maintain it it's like everything else we get o-rings go bad in there they get clogged up whatever get the needle gets stuck open um, and you end up having to switch them or right now we're at a lull we got to order some more because we have one two three four like five spaces six spaces that's what, so we're not maximizing our rack either but um but that's pretty much what it is now for us this side right here these well there's five now and then there's one at the bottom because the sixth one of course leaky sipper but anyway we keep a four to one a one to four ratio of male to female and you can see them in there they're just doing their thing I, cl I cleaned today so that's kind of why I'm shooting this video but um, we keep one male in there and four girls and typically we do get our a, we get a good a good amount of, of uh, rats with breeding that way however this whole thing started at my my oldest brother's house he was involved in it too and everything was fine there well he moved so we had to move our rats and fortunately I have a super cool girlfriend uh, they are in her garage but this we moved them last summer they were gonna we were gonna build a new rat barn but it just things didn't work out money got a little tight and everything else so long story short is one in, over the winter when we got a real cold snap then our water froze and the first thing that a rat does when it can't get can't get water is they eat each other I know that sounds kind of gross I, I might take some licks on this video with people saying oh that's nasty whatever but it's a fact of life and we didn't catch it 
and I still feel bad about it and we are just now on our recovery for it we went from say 200 rats uh, down to 26 so it just completely devastated our population um, you know I was out of town Trevor was working um, come back and that's what it is so but we're on the upswing now and our, you know I our rats are always healthy we, we try to keep them healthy that was an oops it was a things happen but anyway so there's the five breeders and then what we do is once we got pinks uh, then I move them over and depending on the number of pinks and moms we try to keep no more than six adult rats in one tub uh, they're just they're just mortar tubs you can get them at your I think these come from Lowe's um, and everything is built around that but so you know they're over there and then when we we used to pull pregnancy but it's kind of goofy one time we pulled like four pregnants out and moved them to what we thought was going to be a, a, a birthing tub and they weren't there I don't know what happened I still don't know what happened but anyway so now I typically wait and I'm, I'm usually down here every day and check and see you know I check food check water and I can find well I, I gotta leave so I was cleaning today and let's see here where are we at tub number 10 yeah I moved and there's there's pinks in there and I most times you can tell which mom it is but there was a couple and I, I couldn't tell so I just want to be sure so I pulled a surrogate mom from some wieners that I had just uh, well you know what wieners what happens to wieners uh, so I pulled their moms when I weaned them because they were actually with their mom too long and I threw one of them moms in here because I know nice thing about rats is they they will surrogate they will they will somebody one of these moms will pull these pinks and make sure that they get their food and stuff and they're taken care of and then up here I got another I got another tub and there's a there's a mom sitting on a, a brood of them <clears throat> I got a whole actually it was a surprise today I didn't think I had that many pinks but I do so that was great but there's two moms in there and I think there's well uh, I don't know I don't know how many are in there um, I'll have to recount my up here at the top because Trevor stops in sometimes when I'm not here and just so we can communicate there's a board up here I don't know if you can see that real well and we, we put who's with what and that way you can tell but then you move up the line every week we move up the line come over here and we have one mom sitting on some pups um, back there you know they them are I don't know two weeks old maybe something like that um, so there's one mom in there with some pups and then I had some other ones so oh and this one's kind of hard there's some more little pups right up in there so just to keep everything even and make sure everybody was getting their meals as see as they age as they age I kind of separate and make sure that everybody can get bigger um, but then of course you won't see any bigger than that because over here on this side is typically where we keep wieners well uh, I like I said I had let them go too long in there so it was time for them their food their feeder size so this tubs empty here and I usually go girls and boys because they they can breed quickly and I didn't want that to happen so anyway got a boy and a girl that's typically how it goes girls boys but I uh, you know like I said I, I had to their feeder size today so them are all gone the sad thing is now I'll have a lull in the production of course I gotta wait for these guys to grow up and get big but we do have plenty in the freezer we got you know we feed frozen thawed so that's how it all works out but I do have plenty in the freezer so that's just a little tidbit on our rat setup when this thing is in full production we get we get a fair amount of rats and can keep our stuff going in that winter spell we did have to buy um, from we got from Roden Pro you know they ship and I, and I had gone to his show and picked up couple of bags of rats but like I said it gets pricey it's a whole lot more expensive than if you do it yourself so it's just uh, just a little tidbit on our rat production here at the TC Reptiles if you have any questions on how this you know rack was built or anything or you know what we do you can go ahead and email us at tcrballpythons at gmail.com and we'll answer the questions if, if you have any so that's it for now thanks for watching Hey guys, I wanted to add to this uh, video I just shot a little bit. Two things. First off, when I clean, what I do 
is that the mail stays in the tub all the time and then I've got a I've got a big tub down here all the females go into that big tub whether they're you know whichever tub they come out of whatever I put them in that tub and then it gives them an assortment it makes them males kind of compete so you can you know they smell like the other males so then they breed and another thing I wanted to show was the uh, sipper I mentioned the sipper uh, this is what it looks like so the, the hose just goes in the end it's a little clamp on the end there and then they you, they lick this and that's when the water comes out when it's facing down so just wanted to add to that maybe a little more info all right thanks for watching